Welcome to In the Kitchen with Camila. Today I am going to make a shrimp and burrata salad. I have all my ingredients here, as you can tell. I wanted I wanted you guys to just see it because it's super easy. I did lay it out and there'll be a picture as well as still, but I want to show you. So here I just have my burrata, my basil, my tomatoes, super simple. And then I'm only using enough shrimp for, I think one or two people can do this, but it just depends on if you're a shrimp person. You could also substitute this with sausage. You can also make it vegetarian and like take the shrimp out and just do uh, broccoli or, in, or mushrooms or any other uh, type of vegetables if you don't want to do a seafood or protein. And this is my absolute favorite pasta sauce. You know, but you can also have a basic pasta sauce from your market and then doctor it up with spices. Um, you could also um, get a can of crushed tomatoes and a little tomato paste as well. I like things to be super simple and I flow really fast when I cook. So I lay everything out and I, I have key ingredients that I know like hit the spot. So I don't have to keep going back and forth and doing a lot of um, doctoring up on certain things. And this is my favorite pasta, but then again, you could use um, a spaghetti pasta, you can use an angel hair pasta, you can use a penne pasta, um, whatever works for you. I, there's really great um, gluten-free pastas if you wanna use that as well, or brown rice pastas. I'm just showing you what I use, but also remember, feel free to like move around the kitchen, test certain things, it may be dependent on your guests and their dietary restrictions. So I always wanna give you guys options. Capers, just always a good go-to. Capers, garlic, crushed red peppers, but we're just gonna get into this simple, but yet beautiful and tasty meal. So stay tuned. Okay, so the first thing I like to do is take my shrimp and rinse it and take it out the shell so we can saute it and season. I like to season my shrimp with Himalayan sea salt. It's my favorite. I always just keep like a container close by. I don't really measure, but I'll make sure I measure and give you quantities on the block. You don't want to over season your shrimp because the flavors and the seasoning in the sauce is also going to absorb it. But that's just a little salt and pepper. So we have our shallots here, our garlic, and our onion. So we just want to peel this and get it all set for our sauce. So in a large saucepan, you're going to add olive oil. And I just like to coat the olive oil really well. And then once it's heated, I'm going to start with my garlic. Okay. Once my garlic starts to get heated, then I'm going to add my shallots. You just want to add the shallots. And you want to keep your fire on the roll. You're just going to get it going. Now, I like a lot of onions. I like a lot of texture to my sauce. But you can do what fits for you. Okay, so we have the onions getting going. It's still not soft enough, so I like to keep it going. But while I'm waiting, what I did was I chopped up some garlic. Super, super easy. I took like half of it and I just chopped it up. And I'm going to add it to my onion mixture. And I'm going to let this simmer. Now again, if you're making more of a vegetarian sauce, this is when you can add mushrooms. You could even add olives. I'm actually gonna add some capers. And what I'm really doing right now is like I'm actually making, like I, you can actually serve this over your pasta and not even, not even use a sauce. Like you can do this with some truffle oil over fresh pasta and you don't even need a sauce. And the reason why is because all your ingredients are so fresh and the fragrance is so powerful. So if you have a really good pasta, you really don't need a sauce. But for our recipe here, we're gonna put a sauce in. 
So I'm going to add our stock. So when you're preparing, just remember that everything is just timing. It's all timing. So if you feel rushed, like take a breath, it's all timing. And with this is just you and I together being saucy, making some sauce. And the key is like what we really, um, what my heart is so within the kitchen. It's just that it's not intimidating. It's a flow. You know, I want you to be relaxed. Like we're just experimenting in the kitchen, you and I. Okay, let's check out our sauce. So our sauce looks pretty good. It's beautiful. And so what we're gonna do while we're waiting on this is we're gonna prepare our shrimp. So I like to gently just kind of flash fry just a bit my shrimp. Um, I just feel like, I don't like to put it in the, um, pasta until I know like it's a little, just a little, here we go. So we're gonna get our water boiled while we're waiting. So they say your pasta water should be as salty as the Mediterranean. So again, I'm going to add my favorite pink Himalayan salt to our water. So I like serving pasta family style. So I'm just gonna show you how I serve and create an inviting table around the dish. So step one, pasta. Step, step two is the first part of our sauce. So this is my favorite part, and yes, I like to use my hands, and they are clean. I'm just gonna drip the burrata over. Next, I'm gonna show you how to just make a simple arugula salad um, to place on the table with your pasta. I usually purchase a pre-packed, fresh, organic arugula pre-washed. So I just add that, so I'm just gonna put Start with this and everything is about layering. My second layer are the cherry tomatoes. I have this beautiful piece of Humboldt fall cheese so I'm gonna chop up and layer. Look at the ash, it's so good. Okay, so after I layer in the cheese, I just add some balsamic. Okay, so here we have it. This is our jumbo shrimp and burrata uh, pasta and I have it in a larger bowl and I want to show you how I presented the table because I want you to be able to present a table where you can actually engage as well so you don't have to feel tied to the kitchen that you can hang out so let me show you how to set up a table where everyone can just graze. So if you want to prepare a hostess gift, I love this cute little bread bag that we have at Magic Linen. I like to buy my baguettes. This is a little larger, but depending on the type of bread you have, you can always like wrap it in here. And it's just super, super cute. Thanks again for tuning in to this episode of In the Kitchen with Camila. I love preparing um, this episode for you because I wanted to do something that wasn't so holiday. That's just a simple meal that you can get at your market. Again, don't be intimidated by burrata or jumbo shrimp or just more just language that you haven't used. It's just food. 
you're in the kitchen and we just want it to be fun. So thanks again for tuning in. And if you need the actual recipe for this, uh, it will be on Mila Lifestyle blog. Ciao for now. Bye.